All right, here in Missoula to get out of the house and uh, take some pictures of a band. Uh, the drummer actually met down in a bar <laughs> in, in Bozeman. So I just came out here for the day just to kind of, you know, get a little break. And also explore some uh, antique shops around here. I'm also taking all the pictures with a 35 millimeter camera. I'm gonna start off with this. I'm just kind of finishing up this roll of color. It's a Kodak 200 in here. And I'm gonna switch over to some uh, expired black and white. Let's see how that fares out here. It's a little bit of a different scene than the last time I did this. So, like, I shot some pictures of Cradle of Filth, which is like this totally like metal band from uh, overseas somewhere. Um, that, those pictures turned out pretty cool, so I'm curious to see what it looks like in this type of environment, where it's just all outside. I don't know, we'll see. Ah, that was a fun time last night. Uh, still in Missoula, getting ready to go to some antique shops here today. I think they open at 10.30, it's right around 8.30 right now. Found a nice little quiet spot to camp in Missoula, or just right outside of Missoula for the night. It's actually just a truck stop, like a truck repair area. That's like one of the biggest problems of like going out to some of these places and trying to find like a good like campsite i usually want to try and find something that's close to the areas i want to explore and if i'm not exploring like a uranium mine or something like that it's nice to actually be at a truck stop because they have bathrooms and if you need to get food or if, you know need to repair something on the truck or whatever it's nice to be close to civilization and uh yeah this is a nice quiet parking lot was able to sleep some and uh yeah just gotta get going now and get some coffee. But I did actually want to talk about one other thing. Uh, the power setup I have here. So usually when I go out to every area, every time I go out to any, on any trip, I have one of those uh, EcoFlow batteries with me. And I use it to actually uh, power my cooler and to charge my camera batteries and phones and Geiger counters and stuff like that. So this is what it looks like. I think I was talking too loud. I didn't realize there was a truck driver sleeping in his uh, rig. So I just started it up. Or maybe just good timing. Anyway, I'm gonna pack up this tent, get over to Missoula, back that way, and see if I can find some radioactive antiques. Sounds like a good way to start the day. Also rocking some new sunglasses. Ray-Bans. Figured it was uh, time for something new. Those Oakleys, I still have them. I didn't lose them. I just, I've been wearing those for the last 18 years. So <laughs> I figured it's uh, time to try something different. There's actually the same glasses my brother has. And I was like, well, eh, let's give those a shot. So far, I'm liking them. It's really loud in here. All right, time to head inside this antique shop.
Right in place, ceramics. There's a lot of them in antique shops. Totally harmless, though. No cover glass. That's why the reading's so high.
Well, I think that's just gonna about do it for this antique shop. You find anything too crazy in here? That radium clock with uh, no uh, cover on it. That was probably the most uh, moderately horrific thing to find around here. Only because it's like it's it is like a contamination vector when you think about it. But it, it's not that big of a deal. Maybe I'm just downplaying it too much. Well, that's going to do it for the antique mall here in Missoula, Montana. And yeah, cool place. It's like it used to be an old hotel. That's why it's been kind of rickety. Not sure why everyone's honking. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Take it easy.